Alright guys, this is Shazzle Simon here with the Psycho Bounce playthrough. We have now reached the Cosmic Angel, Eggman's new space station. And uh, I've got to say, this stage actually isn't that bad, at least when compared to Egg Rocket. In contrast to that stage being super long, this one's actually pretty short. It does have some retarded level design though, like, what's the deal with that there? Yeah, it does tend to slow the game down. But this stage does have many different routes to explore, so it's a good level for experimenting. But at other points, it kind of almost feels like they ran out of ideas. Because for hazards, they just look like a whole load of spikes. And you'll see what I mean later. Yeah. Oh, and about these rails, one thing I forgot to mention is that Sonic and Amy are the only ones who can grind on it. Which is crap. I'm so glad they fixed it in the later games, because the rail grinding in this game truly is awful. Okay. Also the gravity alters at time. Ooh, look at all those item boxes. <laughs> Did good there. Platform. Oh spikes. Yeah, they just really spam the spike a lot in this level. And they always seem to be in the most annoying places. Oh, I didn't know you could stand on those things, but alright, I'll take it. Shoot there. Oh, come on, was there any need to put those spikes there? I mean, nobody's going to be able to dodge it on their first go. These things are quite cool because they shoot you through like bumpers. Yeah, it's almost like a pinball machine. Believe it or not, we're actually nearly at the end of the level. Yeah, this level's not too hard. Okay, let's go. Oh come on, how unlucky is that? Just launch right onto a spike. Believe it or not, after here, we're nearly at the boss. However, the boss is the one major roadblock of this level. I despise this boss, I really do. Basically, he's moving up and down on a track, and you have to like jump on it to try and get him to turn over so you can hit him. The trouble is though, he just doesn't seem to want to turn over 50% of the time. I never really got it down. And also another huge disadvantage is if you get hit, your rings will fall through the floor. Like, there you see, the rings will just fall through the floor, making recovery much harder. But yeah, to me, that just seems a cheaper way of making the boss more difficult. And, ugh, fucking hell. No, no! And again, it just really leaves me confused about how a game which starts off so incredibly easy and just, you know, not too hard, how it just suddenly goes from being a game that just cuts the bullshit, doesn't fuck around, and then just gets really hard. Like, there's no happy medium, and ugh, these spikes are just piss annoying. Oh, God. Uh, oh, come on, go easy on the spikes. Through here, we've got more bumpers, and these will take us to the boss again. Very, very annoying boss. And another annoying thing is if you, like, attack the boss, you got to make sure you're not going to fall on the spikes. So you've got to have great timing for this boss. Oh, those blue balls can go fuck themselves. They're very annoying to dodge. And yet... More annoying than the techno base boss. Because that one, you can at least get into somewhat of a pattern. This, not so much. Okay, one more hit and I die. Ugh, I hate this game! Try this again, shall we? 
I don't know what it is about me. Oh, it happened again. Hands on the spike. I swear the game designers did that on purpose, made it so you like always hit the spikes if you do that. <sighs> do you know what the sad part about this is? It really doesn't look that hard of a boss. But once you start playing, it can really catch you out. Because this boss does pull some dirty tricks, which you'll see later. Wouldn't exactly say that was one, because just more like projectiles are hard to dodge. Come on. Come on, flip over, you asshole. Oh, crap, crap. Okay, at least you use the ample time to hit him. Goes a bit faster there. Come on, flip. Come on, there we go. Yeah, what, what, what? What, you, what, what? You, what you, fuck! You are scum. You too are scum. Okay. Apparently I was wrong. He does not give you ample time to hit him. Because sometimes they'll just, you know, flip back over quick. It's just random whether it happens or not. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I can't believe I'm going insane. Okay, gotta calm myself down. It's not the hardest boss ever. Oh man. Fucking hell. I just, I just can't get over that, that when you like, get hit, your rings will just go through the floor. It's like that shit Chaos Angel boss in Sonic Advance 3. When you get hit, your rings just go all over the place. And... Uh, I'm sick of this. I just don't like this boss. In this game, these last levels in this game are just a killjoy. I don't like them. The level itself wasn't bad, it's just this fucking boss. Whoa! The good thing about this boss is that he doesn't take as many hits as the others. Yeah, it's like the developers knew this fight was going to be hell. Oh, come on! Oh, come on, nearly there. Come on, yeah. Yes! Yes! Eat your shit, boss! Whew! I did not enjoy that. Now we chase Eggman to the final level. Okay, I'll see you next time for the final part of the Sonic Advance playthrough. And yes, shit is about to go down hard.